hello friends welcome to 20 fingers to brains in our last video we have seen how to add a new category in this video we are going to see how to add a new product in a particular category so here we have a page add new products dot aspx on this page we have already discussed how we have designed this entire layout now if we go in the code behind okay so on the page load method we have not is post back so this will get called only when the page is loaded for the first time and here we have the get categories method inside this get cat categories method we are getting all the product categories which we have added or which are available in the database so let's check out what all categories are available so here we have seven categories so first of all we are creating an object of shopping cart which is a part of business layer and then we are not uh, passing any variables because we just want to get all the categories which are available in the database we are creating a we are calling a method get categories and that this method is indeed calling a store procedure sp get all categories and we are not passing any parameters over here here we have created a a store procedure get all categories like in order to create it this is the syntax create procedure db uh, sp underscore get all categories and uh, here we have select star from category the same query which we have written in the new query window so this will get all the categories and in order to bind those categories to the drop down list first we are checking whether that data table is having any row or not then in the ddl category that is drop down list category we are specifying the value field the value field will be the category id and the text field will be the category name and finally we are associating the data table as the data source of the date drop down list and then finally binding the all the data to the drop down list we can put a breakpoint here to when we put this in debug mode <coughs> and when this is loaded the user enters the product name, selects the product category, adds some product description, browse the product image and enter some price as the product price. And when user clicks on submit button, btn submit underscore click event is generated. Now here first we are checking, uh, first we are saving the image of whatever user has uploaded for that particular product. So if upload product photo dot posted file not equal to null then we are moving inside and uh, we have save product photo a method to save the photo to some folder so in this we are checking upload product photo dot posted file not equal to null then we are getting the file name then we are getting the file extension then we are checking the file length like it should not be greater than 96 and then we are also checking the extension we are not showing any alert message but you can show it if it is required then we are checking the extension whether it's jpg all this png bmp then checking the file size it should not be greater than 4 mb and finally we are saving it like upload dot save as method is there in that server dot map path this is the folder path and followed by a file name the file name we are getting it from the upload product photo dot posted file dot file name dot to string and those and that uh, will be saved in the product images folder because we have given the virtual path by using this line in this way we are saving that entire image into a different folder and uh, Once that file is uploaded to the folder, we are only saving the 
name of that image into our database for our reference so that we can while showing that image from the uh, in the shopping cart we can use that reference to pull that image from that folder and finally we are saving all the database all the data to the database like product name product image like we are giving the path followed by the file name the same thing we have saved in the product images folder then we have the product price description and the selected value which is the category id then we have here also we have created a add new product method which is a part of business layer here we are passing all the parameters like product name product price product image product description and category id which is a uh, in all five parameters and we are calling a store procedure sp add new product this sp will get executed by execute dt by procedure which is a part of data layer we have already discussed this part that is quite simple now add new product what this store procedure is doing we have a product add a new product in order to already i have already created it in order to create it uh, create procedure sp underscore add new product we have product name product price product image description and category id all these details we are inserting in the products table so if we check the product table we have the product id which is a uh, unique key then these are all details and this product a particular product belong to which category id that we are that is actually the link between the the products and category table so let's debug this we have put a breakpoint over here and also a breakpoint here So initially we are getting this uh, get get category is getting called, and when the business when the business layer and the data access layer both are getting executed, we are getting this same result which we have available in the database. And finally, the drop down list is getting populated. Let's create a product. we have some do let's create some dummy records one twenty rupees click on submit button you know this time this method will not get executed because it's only getting we have added not is post back so get executed only when there's page load for the first time in the product file is not equal to null the file name is penguin file extension is dot gpg everything looks perfect and the image is uploaded to the folder let's also open the folder in the windows explorer and as you can see the penguins is already uploaded now adding a new product let's see what happens still here uh, we have a parameter with all the five parameters and the same thing product price everything getting populated and this is where that's it now if we see the home page in the we have already have this penguin 
this is what we have added as a nature painting it's available in the category of uh, real estate so this is what is getting displayed in the on the home page so in this tutorial we see how we are adding a new product in a particular category in our next tutorial we'll see how we are designing the home page how this entire products are getting populated from the database how this list is getting populated how we have designed this layout of this shopping heart project so thank you for watching this video for next videos you can subscribe our channel also you can like our facebook page thank you thank you once again